seven minutes so in seven minutes I want to go ahead and uh, give y'all an intro to what you guys are about to witness with this next clip uh oh you tell her mirror right now okay the clip that you guys are about to see please do not be alarmed uh, it's just a confessional moment that I was having with myself and I just think that sometimes we all may doubt or I don't know guess be a little fearful and I'm just believing that that saying that if you're not if you're not fearful or you're not scared your dreams aren't big enough so I just want to give you guys a heads up before you guys watch this next clip because this was me this morning and um, as you can see I'm smiling I snatched my own life back and um, I'm gonna be all right so uh, forgive me well, it's nothing to forgive. It's it's human. I'm human. It's natural. And like I said, I'm working on me. So working on me sometimes means that um, we have a little meltdown or a breakdown. And um, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to let y'all see what happens. Okay? All right. Bye. honest with y'all why does iron get hot I really didn't feel like vlogging at all this week and if you must know why it's just I don't know just just ain't been feeling it and Needless to say, that's probably not a good idea. Why? Y'all ain't did nothing to me, right? Nope, you haven't. And I just really got in my feelings like maybe an hour ago. And I didn't pick up the camera. Wow, I was in my feelings just because I know how I felt and I was, I'm going to tell you, I was, um, I was changing my linen on my bed this morning and as I was, um, you know, just finishing up the bed and stuff, I went to move Rocky's, you know, bed and stuff. And all I could do was just remember me telling him, get your ass in that bed or stop playing. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. <laughs> Y'all know, I just, I had memories. And then this morning on Facebook, like one of the memories that popped up was a picture of me and him 
same day last year getting ready to go on a walk because it was sunny so to me the reason why it's gloomy today is because god knows my heart i'm just feeling a little sorrow that's all but nothing lasts always right so the reason i decided to still pick up the camera is because of this I posted something on Facebook this morning that I posted the same day last year, same day the year before that. And now it's like, let me read it to you first. I am aware that I am less than some people prefer me to be, but most people are unaware that I am so much more than what they see. It's true. I am more than what other people or what people think they see. I know this about myself. I know that God created me to be unique, to be special, to You ever just feel that feeling like you just know? Well, I just know. And this morning, when I was having my moment with Rocky, it's like everything else just came out. And I made a pact with God this morning, y'all, that I told him he's always been right. His plans are always better. Always better. And why am I still so full of worry? And I just made a pact with him and I said, I'm going to give it all to you for real this time. And I'm going to utilize everything that you have put in my path. I'm going to use it for my benefit so y'all when I be telling y'all like really like this time right I guess it just couldn't have happened at a better time you know when I say spring is when things become anew and things are fresh and life is rebirth it truly is sometimes we have to have that rebirth in ourself I worry about so much My husband told me on Sunday morning, he told me that the reason why he felt like I had a crook in my neck was not due to me, like, injuring myself. That probably had a little bit to do with it. But he really feels like it's stress. He told me, he said, I know you stressed about Jada. Yet, Jada's going to be all right. She's figuring it out. Steph, you've done everything that you possibly can do as her mother. And as a parent, he says, so now you got to let her do the rest. I worry about Jasmine, y'all. I do. Because she's accomplished so much at such a young age. I just want her to continue. I would love for us to do it together. However, I know kids, you know, they want to venture off and they want to do their own things too. And I know she, she's very supportive of Eclectic Nista. And I know she wants her own. I know she doesn't want to like walk in the shoes or walk the path of her mother because she wants her own. I know this. And I want her for that. I want that for her. Her husband said he thinks I worry about life after the military. Because next month, Mr. Long, the end of the month, his anniversary in the military, he's dropping his retirement package. Once that happens, one year from that date, time is up he tells me not to worry he said because he ain't that guy 
He ain't that man that's gonna sit around on his ass and wait for shit to happen for him. And this is true, he's not. When I tell y'all, cause y'all make jokes and y'all have stuff to say, oh, she makes it very known that she loves her husband. Y'all don't understand why. I tell y'all, me and him are ride or die. We ride or die. And he said, I know that you're putting stress and pressure on yourself for your business because you wanted this to be the reason when I retire, I don't have to go back to work. He's like, thing that, thing that you need to realize, miss, is that I never told you that I want to stop working. He don't even want to get out of the army. He doesn't. So he told me that God does things for a reason and he said that for y'all who don't understand why he's putting a retirement package in it's just because the time cap for you to be an E7 they have put a, a lock or a block on certain E7s becoming E8 E8s so if you don't make e8 by a certain time you gotta retire that's my husband's situation but he has a plan y'all he is networking he is doing what he gotta do and i tell y'all my mind is wide open wherever god wants us to be we gonna be and if that means us staying here in new jersey that means us staying here in new jersey I really had to like self check myself this morning because just two days ago my husband had this conversation with me and I guess I really wasn't like taking in what he said. I was listening because I had tears in my eyes because my back was turned to him while we was laying in the bed together and I was listening while he was holding me. I was listening to him. Yet I guess it finally hit me this morning about Rocky. I can't do nothing about Rocky. Rocky is gone. I miss the hell out of him. And I keep thinking I'm ready for a new dog. And I think I am. I just really haven't put any effort in trying to find one. My mama trying to make it so easy for me by just giving me Oreo. And I just don't think James is like up for that. Because he wants a, he wanted a puppy. He wanted... A dog that he knew that we would have for at least the time we have Rocky. I can't worry no more, y'all. I can't. That's why this series is really about making it, bringing it back to me. And I just feel like I've lost myself, like literally, over the past couple of months. And like I had to have a reality check with myself this morning and I was like... Really, Steph? Really? You're not that chick. Jada is going to be alright. And Jasmine will be too. Rocky is alright. The heartache that I have with my one sister that I'm not communicating with right now. I just have to keep that in God's hands too because I'm somebody who who loves to keep at least when it comes to her family if I know that I'm good with everybody the immediate and even when I said the ex outer outer external I am really talking about my mama my my sisters even my half sisters now I'm like trying to rebuild relationships with them and I'm open to even building a relationship or building something with my DNA my father but I'm not gonna put pressure on myself for that I'm not when it comes to my husband, I'm not worried about us no more because he already making moves. That's the kind of man he is. He's already making moves. And I'm like, I got to bring that to the table too. I got to make my moves. 
And I can't be worrying about things that are out of my control. So the only reason I'm sharing this, this brief or this confessional to y'all is that as women, we sometimes we just put too much on ourselves that we, we, we are the reason why we can't get over humps. We are the reason why we can't get over men or we can't feel like we can't we can't move on without something yes the hell we can we have to stop beating ourselves up we have to i'm a proud mother of two girls that they are regular fucking girls they regular james and i have done the best that we can possibly do and now we literally we're not at the phase that we got to set Jada free yet. But we got to let Jada make her path. As a parent, as a mother, as a father, we have done what we know to do. And I leave her for God. Hopefully, she turns out just as well, if not better than Jasmine. Life is great, y'all, and we got to enjoy it in the moment today. Like I said in my previous vlog, your past definitely affects your present and your future. I ain't got a dirty past, y'all, so what, what, what the hell am I worried about, okay? Literally, I'm going to tell y'all. I should be rushing because I literally have 30 minutes to get dressed right now. And I ain't even worried. I wanted to share this with y'all. Not because I want pity. Not because I want you to empower me or anything like that. It's real. It's real out here, y'all. We live in a scary fucking world and you just never know today could be your last day you take your last breath and does everybody know how you feel i love every single one of them james jasmine jada my mama i love my daddy y'all i do i don't know him but i love him i love my sisters i love my brother i love my family i do I even love y'all. So, this is an intimate moment, but at the same time, it's a real one. Stop beating yourself up, ladies. Just wake up one morning and make a decision to do you. I had to cry for about a good hour this morning to finally come to that realization. And I asked God, to just make me anew. And I know in my heart, I felt him say, I got you, girl. No, he got you. you gotta have faith. Faith of a mustard seed. So, I'll talk to y'all later. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next vlog.